taken a reimagined event and we're going to the Wisconsin State Fair. Now, I, I know, I know. For 2020, it was canceled, which is a bummer. And I, you know, trust me. Since March, I've been ready for every holiday. So guys, come on, we want Halloween and Christmas. But State Fair was canceled. So they decided to do something a little bit different. Every weekend from the weekend we just had, which was the 25th through the next four weekends, the Wisconsin State Fair is gonna be offering drive through and come and eat at the fair. Now what I loved about this, now we went opening night, which was the 24th of July, and look at, one of the things that I love about the Wisconsin State Fair is that they have these beautiful flowers all the time, everywhere. Like the horticulturists, they just do an amazing job with their flowers. It's always gorgeous. And the one thing I noted right away was that they went through and they put flowers everywhere. It was so beautiful. It felt like I was at the fair. I mean, look at how gorgeous that is. I would love one of those in front of my house. Um, wink, wink, Wisconsin State Fair. I'd love one of those for my house. But here's the thing, it costs nothing to go and you drive through and pick what restaurants and what booths you want to eat at. So it's really cool. Uh, they put the menu up the week before and I'll be really honest, the first one we went to was the corn dog booth and I'll show you that in just a moment and it took a little bit of time. But just be patient because they move the lines really quick. Now one of the things that was really cool is this is where they do all of their like stadium concerts and everything. And there's also what they call the Milwaukee Mile, which used to be like racetrack kind of thing. And what's really cool is we got to drive on the racetrack. My husband was like, yes, let's go. No, we didn't cruise very fast, obviously. But I just wanted to get you that sense of being in the fair. Um, it was really fun. Um, and I'll share some more tips as we go through. Now, if you are thinking of going, just know that they do have menus that they're gonna give you when you first get there. And the lady was super friendly, and obviously she had her little maps and her mask, and it was really fun to be on the track. And it sounds like every week the food is going to change. So make sure that you check the State Fair website. Um, although I will tell you, make sure you go with a plan. It's no different than going to any other State Fair. Because I promise you, when you see the menu, the first thing you're gonna say is, oh my gosh, everything looks amazing. And I personally recently had um, some surgery, and so I was not able to eat nearly as much as I would have loved to have eaten at the State Fair. Well, their State Fair reimagined. Um, but I'm hoping over the next couple of weeks as I start to get better that I definitely will be able to partake a little bit more. And again, we are so sad that the State Fair is not running this year. Um, I'm really optimistic and hoping that for 2021, State Fair will be back. It is definitely one of those places that I've gone every year. We go and get the chocolate milk at the booth. We go and get, um, usually we've gone to concerts before. I've seen Alan Jackson there. I have seen, um, who did I see recently? Oh, Reba McIntyre. I saw she was amazing. Um, and quite a few other country artists. And again, there's some more of the beautiful flowers. Now I'm going to tell you, we went on Friday night, which was the first night. Okay. This view that you see right now 
took us almost 45 minutes. It was the very first booth, and at that booth they had corn dogs, Dippin' Dots. They also had Snickers on a stick, deep fried, and a bunch of other things. So I would highly encourage you to think about what you really want, just because otherwise I'm afraid you could spend a little bit too much time. Now I will tell you the very first one took that long, everything else was a drive up. So apparently everybody wanted either Dippin' Dops, corn dogs, or you know, Snickers or Milky Ways on a stick. Not really sure, but that one did take 45 minutes. Everything else was a pretty much drive up. As it was our turn, we made sure the kids had the plan of what they wanted to eat. And I'll tell you, in a weird way, I felt like I was at the fair. I don't know, maybe it was the way the booths were set up. Maybe it was the fact that we were on fairgrounds. I'm not sure. But jokingly, we said it felt like we were at State Fair, although we were in an air-conditioned car, so we weren't sweaty. The food came to us, which was nice, although we didn't smell any farm animals, which we usually do because the Wisconsin State Fair does have a huge farm exhibit that they do, which is, it's amazing. And for the kids that don't get to normally see livestock, very, very cool. And uh, it was fun. I mean, it, it really was enjoyable. Um, it wasn't State Fair, but it, it felt like the essence of State Fair, which is, you know, the best that we can do for this year. And uh, it was a beautiful night. Everybody was really friendly, which was, you know, we were worried how people were going to get upset waiting in line or anything like that. Not at all. I really think that people were just happy to be there and be there to support the Wisconsin State Fair. And the employees, I mean, all were masked up. They were using hand sanitizer. They were making sure they were as safe as possible. And... It was a really fun time. So we ended up ordering some corn dogs and some Dippin' Dots because that's what the kids wanted. And then we're gonna go ahead and take a look at some more booths around the fair. Now I will say the only thing that was kind of a downer was that there wasn't a place to kind of pull in and temporarily park to eat. So that made it really hard, like if you were the driver trying to eat while you were driving. But you can see, for example, like pork at this point, it was still early in the night, so they didn't have a lot of people yet. So you could have literally skipped to the first one and went right to their booth and got your food. Now, the other thing that was really nice, and I'll show you in a moment, right now they're stopping people because they're trying to see where they want to go because they had it divided off quickly that basically you would come out of one vendor and they'd say, cool, which one do you want to go to next? Number two, three, or four, and you'd tell them and then they would route you that direction. So they had a lot of State Fair employees on the ground there to direct you, which I thought was cool. Now when we go to the State Fairs, for example here, this is a noodles, uh, island noodles, and they're usually underneath the bleachers, but it was so cool to see all these people driving through, getting their noodles. Um, well, very well organized. And the way that I looked at it is typically when we go to the fair, it costs $20 to park. So I was like, all right, so we'll spend $20 plus whatever we would have spent on food. So get what you guys are interested in. 
And it was really fun because, you know, we still felt like we had a little bit of fare. And you can see the lines weren't horribly long. You know, I mean, it just that very first one that took a little bit. But, I mean, it was really well organized. And for me, just the pure number of State Fair employees that were there to kind of help direct us really just made it so much better. The only other things I wish there would have been, um, there should have been an area. Now, there were some porta potties, but it said emergency only. And I'll tell you, you know, when you've got two little kids and you just waited almost an hour for corn dogs, it kind of could be an emergency. So we didn't know if we were deemed an emergency or not. So I guess that'd be number one. I wish that there would have been more a bathroom open or some type of bathrooms. Two, I wish that um, there would have been garbage along the way because there weren't garbages to throw the food after you ate it. And so we ended up with like a bag in the back and ugh. so. Um, and the only other thing I wish there would have been is, you know, just the state fair. But again, obviously 2020, got to deal with what you got to deal with. Now, as we go in here, it started to feel like the fair. You know, I saw the little sky things, although they didn't have the little seats. So that was kind of a bummer. But it was so nice to see like the chicken barn and the rabbit barn and all the beautiful flowers. And I just, I know I keep saying the flowers, but honestly, to me, one of the things growing up was that we always used to go to the flower building. And my mother loves flowers and she loves um, seeing that building where people bring in their beautiful flowers from the summer and then they compete and they can win ribbons and everything like that. And I just, I thought they just went above and beyond to try and make it pretty. Um, to see the Coliseum, I mean, I saw rodeos in that little Coliseum. It's very small, but it, they used to do that. They do horse pulls, they do, um, during the fair typically, they'll show like the kids will come out for the 4-H and they'll bring their sheep and their pigs and their cows and they show them and then that's how they can win college credits and, and money for school. And um, I don't know, just seeing all of that, just, it made me sad. Not gonna cry on my video, but it definitely made me sad. You know, I think that we, we have all taken a lot of things for granted and uh, we're just trying to look at 2020 as a year to sort of take a step back and figure out what's next, you know? I jokingly said to my husband, next year at the fair, we are gonna sun up till sundown. We're gonna get baked potatoes and we're gonna go look at every single booth and it's gonna be a blast. You know, there have been years we've gone and we only spend a little bit of time there, but it's amazing how much you miss something until it's gone. Now coming up here, there's lots of amazing restaurants that always have fun bands. And then straight forward is the shopping. My husband and I kind of joked that maybe they should have had uh, enough. For those of you who are in Wisconsin, um, they sell these things, these little orange shamwows or whatever in the mops. I kid you not, I think that every third family leaves with one of those every year. And so we were joking that along this route, they should have let the guy sell like the little orange mops. Like, hey, do you need your mops and your sponges for the year? I mean, they didn't. It was only food. But it was still fun to see all of these buildings. Um, and it was kind of nice um, not to have to walk. I mean, granted, it would have been great exercise. But it was kind of fun just to kind of get the drive through version. Um, the next place we decided to go, and I have to talk about this really quick. Um, it was this waffle on a stick location. So you could get uh, chicken and waffles on a stick. You could get brownie on a stick with a waffle. And then there were some other options they had. If you get an opportunity to try it, try it. Um, we ended up ordering a brownie waffle on a stick and it was amazing. Waffle chicks, they were so friendly, so nice. And again, I feel like everyone was being really respectful to each other. And uh, I'll let Erin go ahead and tell you a little bit about it in just a sec.
Oh, that's cool looking, Dad. Did you see yours? Yeah. You are. Thank you so much. Yeah, Perfect. Have a nice night. You Thank too. you. All right, let's see. Oh my God, that's so crazy. It's got brownie batter in it. It's a, it's a waffle with brownie batter in the middle. Can you pull over there for one second? Eat it. Now, what did you get? I got a brownie waffle on a stick. So I think it's a waffle that's got brownie batter in the middle that they put on a stick. All right, let's. Let's see. Oh, it's a waffle with brownie batter in the middle. Is it good? That's pretty good. Can I try it? Heck yeah. Just take a little bit. Seeing all of the booths that should be open in the next week or two all shut down and closed up for the year was just really sad. But it was nice to be able to get in there, take a look. Oh, right there, that little group right there, they do the best corn on the cob ever. So coming up here, there's the fun slide that the kids love. And then again, just tons of fun restaurants and animal buildings. And uh, again, there's some more of those beautiful flowers. We decided at the very end, one of the very last booths was a booth that had cheese curds. Quick funny story, my husband and I have been together for a lot of years, okay? And every year that we go to the state fair, he says, I want my cheese curds. And I'm like, cool, get them. And for some reason, I don't know why, but we never end up getting his cheese curds. And so I told him, I said, okay, on a reimagined year, we're getting your cheese curds. And he was like, well, I just had a waffle brownie thing. And I said, we're getting you cheese curds. It's fine. Okay, it's fair day. You know, we'll skip the, skip the normal diet and it'll be fine. And it was so cool. And the crazy part is, now you have to see this. Now, again, I don't know about other state fairs, but I can tell you Wisconsin State Fair, they love things on a stick. But look at the size. Where is it? There it is. There is a ginormous cheese cut curd bucket. Now, we didn't get that. But I saw that, I was like, oh my gosh. Like, what? That would feed a family, two, three families. We ended up getting just a small amount of cheese curds. But I remember all the way home after he did that, he was like, that's the first time in all of our years of dating and marriage that he had his cheese curds from the state fair. So I felt as though we accomplished something kind of big for us. You know, I mean, not really, but it was kind of fun. So if you are thinking about going to the state fair for the next couple of weeks, go and do it. Um, now, next week, the middle two weekends, they're gonna offer cream puffs. So this is gonna be crazy. I went on their website and they're encouraging people to pre-order because then they're guaranteeing when they're gonna make them for you. So what night or whatever. I would hate for you to go and, and they run out. Um, Wisconsin State Fair cream puffs are amazing. They're huge, they're yummy, they're just, they're great. Highly encourage that if you're gonna go, make sure you pre-order your cream puffs so that you get it. And then you know what? Go and take the family around, clean the car first, bring a little garbage bag. Um, we learned our lesson that way, the hard way. Um, but it's fun. It was really fun. I mean, at least it kind of felt like state fair. And just be ready to go and have a good time and go hungry, because trust me, you're gonna eat plenty. So again, my name is Jessica Lynn. I am a member of Team Mold. We love doing Disney DIY crafting and adventures around our neck of the woods. So thank you guys again. Don't forget down below, subscribe, comment, and we look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care, everybody.